For this lesson, this is section 12.5, and what we're doing here is we're multiplying monomials, and we're also multi multiplying mon monomials by pi polynomials. So you notice for number one, we have 6x times 4x. You're going to go ahead and multiply the numbers, which are 6 times 4 which is 24, and we know that x is raised to the first power. So when we multiply numbers with the same base, we're going to add the exponent. So we have x to the second power. For number 2, we're going to multiply negative 7x squared times 2x to the fifth. So we know we have negative 7 times 2. We have a negative times a positive, so that's negative 14. And we have x squared times x to the fifth. And since we have the same base here, we're going to go ahead and add the exponents. So it's going to be negative 14 times x to the seventh power. Here we have a negative times a negative. So we know that's going to be positive. So we're going to have 12x to the fifth times x. And we notice that we have x, and x is going to be raised to the first power. So we have the same base. So we're going to add the exponent. So we have 12, and we have x to the, to the sixth power. For example b, we're going to go ahead and use the distributive property. So we have 7x parentheses x squared plus 2x plus 5. So we're going to multiply 7x times x squared, which will give you 7 times x times x to the second power, which is going to be x to the third power, plus 7x times 2x which is 7 times 2, which is 14. And x times x gives you x squared plus 7x times 5. 7 times 5 gives you 35. And then we have x. So the product of these two, a monomial and a, and a polynomial, will be 7x cubed plus 14x squared plus 35x. We're going to go ahead and try number two. So once we once again we have a monomial which is 5x, and we have a binomial, in this case it's 2x to the third power plus 6. So you're going to go ahead and multiply 5x times 2 times x to the third power, which you're going to get 5 times 2 is 10. And remember, we have a 1 right there, and we're going to go ahead and add these exponents. So you have x to the fourth. And then you multiply 5x times 6, which gives you, which gives you plus 30x. So for number three, we're going to have to use the distributive property with m, and then we're also going to have to use the distributive property with four. So we have m parentheses m plus six plus four times m plus six. So you notice we have m times m, which is m squared. We have m times 6, which is 6m, plus 4 times m, which is 4m, plus 4 times 6, which is 24. 
we're going to go ahead and simplify the like terms. So we have m squared plus 6m plus 4m gives you 10m plus 24. So this one we have to do it twice. We have m times m plus 6 and then we have 4 times m plus 6. So we have to do the distributive property twice. So we're going to go ahead and try the next one. We have 3x times 2x minus 5 plus 1 times 2x minus 5. You notice we have to do 3x times this, the parentheses and then a 1 times the second parentheses. Now we are going to use the distributive property. 3x times 2x gives you 6x squared. 3x times negative 5 gives you negative 15x plus 1 times 2x gives you 2x and 1 times negative 5 gives you minus 5. So now we're going to go ahead and we are going to combine like terms. So in this case we only have 6x squared, negative 15x plus 2x, you're going to have to subtract and keep the sign of the larger so it's going to be negative 13x minus 5. So the next one, we'll do number six. We have t plus two times three t squared minus four t plus two. So we have t times three t squared minus four t plus two. Plus, we have two times three t squared minus 4t plus 2. So you're going to multiply t times 3t squared, which gives you 3t to the third power. t times negative 4t gives you, excuse me, let me fix this here. We have 3t cubed minus 4t squared and then t times 2 gives you plus 2t plus 2 times 3 which gives you 6t squared 2 times negative 4 which gives you negative 8t and then 2 times 2 which gives you plus 4 so let's just kind of check before we go forward uh, t times 3t squared is 3t cubed. t times negative 4t gives you negative 4t squared. t times 2 gives you 2t. 2 times 3t squared gives you 6t squared. 2 times negative 4t gives you negative 8t. And then 2 times 2 gives you 4. You're going to combine like terms. And you notice we only have one that is 3 to the uh, 3 times t to the third. We have negative 4t squared and we have 6t squared. So that's going to be plus 2t squared. Since we have to subtract to keep the sign of the larger. And we also have to do that with 2t and negative 8t, which gives us negative 6t. You subtract to keep the sign of the larger. And then it's plus 4.